Cheers, my friend. Cheers. No, when I say cheers, you cheers oh, back. Oh, I see. What? <laughs> isn't that it's how all they these do American it? Customs. <laughs> it's so cheers. hard to keep up. <laughs> I know that one is pretty sophisticated, isn't it? You were here, gosh, almost three years ago. Is it? Gosh. So I'm now a totally different person than when we met last. How are you a different person than when we met last? Um, older. There's that. <laughs> but you don't look it. Bless Not a day. You. Not you. a day. Uh, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty much the same person, I think. I uh, feel, I feel kind of... I've been, I'm on a nice plateau of um, contentment. And I'm also just I'm amazed that I'm actually alive because of some of the things I've been doing recently. So that's also good. I mean, that's the story. What the hell have you been doing well, that leaves you thrilled uh, to be alive in the morning? Macbeth. The Macbeth that I just did on Broadway. I thought I was going to die, and I didn't. Like, I, I was just in such a state of fatigue and upset and as wet and cold. I think that cumulatively is also exhausting. Being in a state of despair is really tiring. But it is a knell that summons thee to heaven or to hell. There was a... Hi. Hey, Sam. <laughs> there was a... Hello. Hi, how are you doing? How are you? Um, yes. Macbeth. Macbeth. Right. Let me preface this by saying I love you. Uh-oh. I can't bear Shakespeare. I can't oh. bear it. I've never been able to bear it. Why do you think that is? I don't know, but I would like a primer because I feel like I'm missing out. You know, I'm missing out on something that everybody else knows. Is it because are you sort of nervous of it? Are you scared of it? And so you decide to push it away because you're worried that it's going to... You're going to be confused or something. I don't know what the f they're talking about. That's really <laughs> what it comes down to. All <laughs> right. I guess it's just something, the more you hear it, the more... But then also, I think it's also who you who does it. Because sometimes some actors make a big song and dance out of Shakespeare. And, you know, I hate that. I, I would never go see that. Like, oh, no. Ugh, terrible. I, 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 you know, there's that sort of singing kind of thing. And when they look into the mid-distance when they start to do a soliloquy, I hate that. Oh, yeah. You've also gotten married since I saw you last. Uh, yeah, have I? Well, I mean, remarried. I was already married to him and I got married in this country. Why get married? Two things. One, I am claiming my rights that people have fought very hard to have. So as a political act, it was all that. But the great thing about weddings is that all your friends and family, all the people you love in your life, come together to, for one feast to celebrate your love. I think it's an amazing thing, and I'm so glad to be able to have done it. I'm glad you did it as well. Yeah. Twice, even. Twice, yeah. Or well, three times, as you count the first, the one back in the 80s. But not to... Not to grant. Guy. No, not, okay. to, not to you, a lady. Somehow that's never come up in our I did not know that. I did not know I you were married, married to a woman. I married a woman. What were you thinking? I just was in love and, you know, I was thinking that um, I would be, I was with her and then I wasn't. You know, the worst thing about divorce, well, there's many worse things, but I, the one thing I thought about it is this, this sense of, of failure. But I think the pressure is so hard for people. We're all fed these kind of stupid, unrealistic notions of what our marriage should be, should be like and you know I just I think it's I think it's hard being married especially when you're very young yeah and when you're very gay being married to a, uh, someone of the uh, wrong sex oh that no wasn't good. oh no that wasn't really no 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 that wasn't anything to do with it no so if you had had a better marriage you think you wouldn't have got gay I'd, I got gay before I was married I got I got gay like I was I was gay I got gay during it you know I was I was always <laughs> she got I was gay. always bisexual so are they out now are the women out out of no the picture. No more women. Well, you know, I mean, I'm obviously not as a ma married man, Kat, but I, st I still admire a, a lovely lady. Yeah, I still, I can, you know, I can totally, in fact, I often do fantasize in my head about the uh, experience of uh, a lady's vajayjay. Anything I did wrong was a your problem. No, you and this encounter never happened. I will find a way to bring I'm going you into my office and I'm not listening to another word being said. Uh, should we talk about The Good Wife or something that we can actually yeah. use on the show? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you're moving into the fifth season. That's right. Your star was well on the rise and, you know, before that, but I do think five seasons on a, a hit series is helpful. Absolutely. And you've been able to do a lot of things that maybe you wouldn't have been able to do before. You know, I loved your work in the Smurfs. <laughs> oh, yeah, that cools the giblets. Are you different now as star Alan than as my friend Alan that I met? All those years ago? No. 
I'm not. I mean, I think I'm just more... Uh, television is a very, very potent thing. And I, I, I didn't... It's, it's, you know... I'm more self-conscious, Alan, perhaps. I mean, I, I, you know, because you, you just are... Everybody knows you and you just have... You know, and TV is a different way. And also because I do the, 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 the uh, Masterpiece of Mystery yeah. as well. And I kind of talk to people like just as me. Uh, I notice that gets a lot of people going. I am the Masterpiece Mystery host. The Masterpiece thing's crazy for a certain demographic. Uh, they go crazy for me. And, um, Those octogenarians just love me. <laughs> they can't right. get enough. They can't. I am now going to de Masterpiece Mastery Man myself. <laughs> that should do it. I think being famous is, there's many good things about it. Mostly you get to do work that you want to do, that you've, you know, work with the most interesting people and I really really like that and that you can reach a lot of people but it does make you very self-conscious because you're aware that everywhere you go everyone's looking at you or, and maybe pretending not to look at you mm. and uh, or to take your photo when you they don't like oh I'm gonna check my emails like this uh, do you miss being Anonymous. less recognizable uh, well it's dip I mean I, I miss anonymity but that's been a long time since I had that and I just because in a way what I really like is going somewhere and just observing people and people watching like that's what I think actors should do because that's what you've got that's how you and now I can't do that because everyone will be looking at me here's <laughs> looking at you kid <laughs> thanks for letting us look at you for a while here on the stoop thank you <laughs>